Is there someone that inspires you? Someone that motivates you and you admire, maybe because of their technical ability or their creativity, their ability to invent or synthesize things together in ways that you never thought possible? For me, I have someone like that, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is a fascinating character. His artwork, his inventions, his ability to synthesize and put things together in ways that nobody has ever put them together before. In fact, I actually traveled to France in order to go to the castle where he spent his remaining days, his final days, and I went to the, the tomb of Leonardo da Vinci and I was able to see where he lived in those final days. It's not like I'm obsessed with Leonardo da Vinci though. You know, it's not like I have a Leonardo da Vinci action figure or anything. Okay, I'm a little bit obsessed with Leonardo da Vinci. There are so many interesting things about Leonardo that I really admire. His ability to create connection between things that, that other people had never connected. His ability to think really outside of the box. One of the things that I really admired about him as well was how he kept his notebooks with all of the different ideas in there, the drawings that he did, the different inventions that he was working on, sort of a playground for his mind. And that's inspired me to make this video because there is a piece of software that I think could be like my own Leonardo da Vinci's notebook. It's called Scrintle. And it's really like a playground for the mind because like a notebook, it allows me to collect images, it allows me to connect notes, and it allows me to connect them together. But of course, it also takes advantage of technology and artificial intelligence and all of the things that are part of the modern world to connect things together even more efficiently and to be able to navigate through everything I collect in a way that helps me synthesize it. Now, I'm no Leonardo. I'm not gonna be Leonardo da Vinci. In fact, my name's Frank. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, here on this channel, what we do is we talk about how we can use technology to learn and teach more effectively and to be more productive. We really look at technology in a way of how we can use it in order to be more productive and efficient. If you're a regular viewer of the channel or if you're returning to the channel, you may have seen a previous video where I talked about Scrintle, but there's so many new features around artificial intelligence and the way that we can work with the tool, it was time for an update video. And they were kind enough to contact me and they're sponsoring this video, they're friends of the channel. Thank you, Scrintle. I have Scrintle opened up here on my desktop, so I'm using the Windows app for Scrintle. There's also a Mac app, but it's web-based, and that's going to be very important because it means anywhere where I have a web browser, I can use Scrintle, including on my iPad. And I'm going to show you a very cool trick using the iPad with Scrintle that I like to use. So here I have Scrintle open. And just as an overview, uh, Scrintle really is, is used a lot in what we call Zettelkassen. So Zettel is the German word for ticket or receipt or small piece of paper. And Kassen is for container or safe, right? So the way that Scrintle works is we have three levels. So the first level is going to be what's called a board. So a board is an infinite canvas, and that infinite container, that kassen, is going to allow me to put documents in there, and those documents, so I can put a document into the kassen, so a zettel into the kassen, and then that zettel, that piece of paper, is comprised of blocks. So I can have blocks that make up the document. So think of it as a board is the big container, the document is a structured note and a block is an individual component either of a document or just free form on in my container. So let's say I'm going to, and, and the default container that you start off with is called my desk. So this is great for organizing your day or if you have something that you always want to use as your starting point, you can customize your desk. I'm going to create a new board. So I'm creating a new board here and we'll call it a clever name. So now I, I double clicked on it. I'm into this new board. And when I click on it, I'm gonna call this cousin. So this will be my container. So this is my cousin. And then what I'm going to do is create a document on here. So I'll just go down here and I'll create a new document and I'll call it, uh, you know, Da Vinci Inspiration. Da Vinci Inspiration, because he's such an inspiring fellow. If I could spell inspiration. So Da Vinci Inspiration, get rid of this new doc information. So I have Da Vinci Inspiration. So my cousin is my board, my document 
is the DaVinci inspiration document. And now I can create blocks. Now, when I create a block, I can put it anywhere in my cousin, in my container, in my board, or I can put it right into this document. So now I've put this block into the document and I can just start typing. So I could say something like Da Vinci was cool. You know, Da Vinci was cool. And I can just put that in as text. I can add to it. And notice if I do my forward slash, it's markdown language. So I'm able to go in and look at all these things where I can link to other documents. I can link boards to boards. I could link out to a URL. I could link documents to documents, but you have headings, you have all these things you can insert. Uh, you can format a lot of things with bullet lists and code and dividers, and I can create uploads in media. So I could upload PDFs. I'll show you that in a moment. And I'm going to go in, in my case, I'm going to insert a URL. So I'm just going to paste a web link in here. Now, this is where the trick comes in with the iPad because what I've actually linked to, and you'll notice I can freeform that so I can remove it or I can put it into the document. And if I put it in the document, I still have it here. So I could get rid of it or I could leave it in both locations, but I'm, I'll get rid of it here just to clean things up a little bit. But I now have a link to an active URL. In my case, this active URL is a whiteboard, a Microsoft whiteboard that has a picture of DaVinci on it, which I also am connected to on my iPad. So if I go in here and on my iPad, I'll put in something like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do my own drawing and then I'll say, I'm no Da Vinci, right? I'm not as good as he was when it comes to art, certainly not. So you can see I've now got that. And when I go back to Scrintle, I'll always have that connection to that whiteboard. And there's so many things you can do when you're dealing with URLs and connecting from Scrintle out to a URL. That's a powerful little feature, but there's more. So I'm going to go to a board that I've created called Learn Everything because I want to be Da Vinci. I want to learn everything about art and education and history and modern science and all sorts of different topics here. Now, when I look at this, I've already pre-populated this. Each of these is a document. So I have a document about art. I have a document on history, on technology, modern science, and so on. I've gone in and I can format them so I can color code them. I can do all sorts of things in terms of looking at them where I can have either a compact view. I can grab a snippet with just a little bit of the document, or if I want, I can see the full document. You can see here that I've got a block with a PDF in it, a block with a YouTube video, a block with another PDF. Let's go, for example, into this PDF. I can break it out. And now I've got this PDF that I can start working with here and I can start, you know, taking notes, additional notes. For example, here, this is a PDF on writing great fiction. So I've linked below that another block, which is a YouTube video on writing great fiction. So this is a great way to start organizing your thoughts and I can connect them together. So for example, let's say I'm teaching some technology. I can choose my education block. I can grab a connector and I can connect the education to technology here. You'll notice that I can actually choose this object and I can choose to have, you know, the um, lines double headed or no arrow lines, whatever I might like to do there. And then as I move this around, it'll maintain that connection from page to page. So you can see I'm almost like building up a little mind map here. I have to grab this one here and connect it up over there. So I've got, it'll maintain its connection as I move it around, as long as I've connected them together. So that one there I hadn't connected together and I um, have some that I deleted as well. So if you go in here and what will happen is anytime I make a change in one area, it'll eventually synchronize here so that it'll keep everything nice and synchronized. This is very handy because a lot of times I'll be on my iPad and then I will make, I'll read a PDF and make notes on that PDF and such. I'll add additional blocks. So here we have this, uh, this setup that I've got with all these pages and with the blocks within these pages. 
Now that we have an overview of how Scrintle is organized with boards and documents and blocks, which is a fantastic way for helping us learn and organize information, we're going to take a look at a new feature, which is just going to elevate that to a whole new level. And we're joined by Blossom, my little black cat, my other gray cat somewhere around here, Peanut, but Blossom is particularly interested in Enzytelkassen. I don't know why, but she is. So she's going to pay attention to this. So I'm going to go to my Kassen board and I'm going to add in a new block. So I'll put this anywhere. Blocks can be either part of a document or free forming. And I'm going to put in a PDF in here. So let's say I've decided that Blossom and, my, Blossom and I are going to learn about music. So we'll go in and I'll click to upload a PDF in here. And I'm in a folder with all sorts of PDFs about uh, the courses I'm taking. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to add in how to listen to and understand great music. So now I've got a PDF in here and I can expand this. I can put additional things in here like maybe I want to get a list of uh, records that I want to pick up. Um, that's, you know, or download or whatever the case may be. And I can put that in there and I can put in another block in here with a list of some sort. So you can go in here and I could put in a ordered list in here and we'll just say one, two, three. I'm going to, I'm half, I'm going to have to learn what records I need in order to understand great music. But watch this. If I go into this particular PDF and I grab this PDF here, this is going to have all of the you know, stuff that I'm reading and I want to learn about, but I want to create a note and I want to go a little bit deeper in here and I need a little bit of help. So as I go through, I could be taking notes on all of this information. And of course I could put those as blocks in there. That's a great way of working with information, but we also have a new feature in Scrintle, which is the AI assistant. So let's go to the AI assistant and notice that I've got this text in here. So I can go in and I can copy this text and I can paste it into the AI Assistant. So I've already pasted it in here. So I can put this in here. And when I put that in there, it's going to look at this text and it might give me some information on it. It's something I can do, I can message it, right? So it's gonna say here, it's a refined note. So it can actually refine that note. I could go and have more context on the themes of what was being said in this note. I can even do some fun things like I could say, write, a heavy metal song, a heavy metal song based on these lyrics or based on this note or poem, whatever it is, it, it, it's going to know. So I can go in here and I can say write a heavy metal song based on this note and it's going to go through, take what I took from the PDF, brought it into AI, it's going to take that uh, Statsum and uh, Choir, it's going to go in and look at this. It's created a whole heavy metal song, which I can actually drag in. And now I have here in my, I'll close down the AI Assistant. I can close down the PDF and I can scroll here. And now not only am I learning all sorts of things about great music, but I'm transferring it into different forms and creating notes and doing all sorts of things that are kind of fun with the material that I'm working with. And that AI assistant can summarize an entire note. This one here has a whiteboard on it, but if I had a more complex note that I had created, let's say actually the one that I just created, my little heavy metal song that I created, I can directly send that entire note out to the AI assistant and I could say summarize it, you know, so I could say summarize this and it's going to recognize my request here and it's going to summarize and make, I guess, a smaller song. But you get the idea is that what I can do is I can pull all of my blocks into the AI assistant and then when it does the work, I can actually pull it as a note back into or as a block back into my board and I can actually attach that to the document here. So now I have the document and I can go in here, move things around. I can also scroll out a little bit just so I have a little bit more working room in here and I can organize all of my things. And now I'm going to be a great artist and I need to start, well, uh, I guess the next thing I have to do is learn how to actually write and create music, but I don't have to worry about the lyrics because the AI helped me with this and I now have my heavy metal song, Vengeance of the Sky. I don't know why I chose that, but I guess Blossom just wants that. Okay, bye Blossom. So 
This is a great example of where we have a platform that I can really start interacting with information and getting that AI help built right in. And I can start thinking and connecting things together, taking them in new directions. And Scrintle is a fantastic platform that allows me to do that in a way that connects out into my information, brings it into one place, consolidates it, allows me to remix it, do some AI work with it through the application and, and really start understanding the world around me. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was useful, hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video. If you'd like more Castle, uh, Zeitelkassel or Zeitelkassen or Scrintle videos, just comment down below. Always happy to share how I do research and how I connect things together using tools like Scrintle. Okay, Peanut, you can be on YouTube as well. This is Peanut the cat. He's gonna go play with Blossom now.